What is the Steelers' plan at quarterback, do you think? What do you think? I, I really there? don't think they have one. Huh. Um, I think they. I think they're going to enter the off season. Um, I would be very surprised. Everybody always says, "Hey, Steelers, this conservative organization, all this." Well, they've made some big moves. That Minka Fitzpatrick trade. Everybody said, "Oh my God, that's right. so one Steeler like." Kevin Colbert is really smart. He's he's more of a progressive guy than people think. More of a future thinker than people think. And when it comes to quarterback, I will be very surprised if they don't pick up the phone after the season, after Ben Roethlisberger walks away, which I thought it was very interesting. Adam Schefter has the story Saturday. Roethlisberger has the chance to to, uh, deny it or to say it isn't true. And all he says is, well, I haven't told everybody that. And everybody chuckles. So clearly, this is a story. This is real. And to me, when I hear that, when I think about it, I think two days after the last game of the season for the Green Bay Packers, just my gut feeling, Kevin Colbert's going to pick up the phone and call Brian Gutekunst and say, do not make a move on Aaron Rodgers if you're going to without talking to us. You know, and and, the, and then, then that, the question is, is why, why wouldn't Rodgers want to stay put? You know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, would they really? Are well, the Packers going through? Are they got, what about Devonte Adams? Well, that's what I'm saying. But why, why would the Packers say, you know what? It's time for us to just start from square one with Jordan Love, right? We've got the coach. We're, he's not going anywhere, and we've got right. the rest of the roster that we totally believe. But we do need to just start from scratch, rather than do that three years from now when Aaron Rodgers might want to walk away at age 42, 43, like. And then why would Rod, unless Rogers really feels that um, that that everything hasn't been done for him, or does it really matter the way the season finishes? Then what we're talking about, because Rogers is in a spot it, where he I knows he knows exactly right. where everything is and what 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 he wants. I know, but I think I think it matters. I think everything matters to Aaron Rodgers. Look, I don't know that everybody believes this, and I can't tell you. I don't live in Aaron Rodgers' head. But when I talked to him in August, he looked me in the eye and he said, listen, this right now is about this season. This is about being where your feet are. This is not about – he, he told the team this when he came back. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crudely paraphrase because I, I, I wasn't there, but this is just basically what he passed on to me, that he told the, his teammates, listen – Forget worrying about where you're going to be in 2022. Forget about the future. Let's everybody do everything humanly possible we can to win now, to win this year. And then next year is going to take care of itself. Forget it. And so I don't think he's going to talk about it. I'd be surprised if he talked about it at all. And I think he just wants to let everything fall the way it's going to fall this year and then on February 16th or whatever the morning after his last game is, of course he thinks about it now. But that's when he will really start to put his plan into place for 2022 and beyond. And just as a reminder, Rich, Aaron Rodgers has the ability after this year to request a trade and Green Bay has to, uh, you know, has to deal him then. Okay. He'll have some choice, but not full choice as to where he goes. And then if he, if he plays one more year in 2022, he will be an unrestricted free agent. Right. And the Packers can do nothing to stop him from leaving. So, essentially, he can go next year with some strings on him, including, keep this in mind, wherever he goes, it's going to cost that team two or three very high draft picks and maybe one very good player. If he goes to Denver to two, for two ones and Jerry Judy, like, is he going to say, whoa, 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 whoa? I want to throw the ball to Jerry Judy. You know, so, so there, there's a lot of things I'm sure he is thinking about now and he will think about, but I don't think any of us are going to be privy to that until after the season. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.